Hey everybody, Pastor Jonah here from Zao Milwaukee Church, and I am here today to let you know what we're going to be talking about this week at our gathering Echo. It's happening Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, um, in the River West neighborhood of Milwaukee, and we are talking, uh, we're in the middle of a series about things that the Bible doesn't say that uh, a lot of us have heard the Bible says, and so this week the topic is the phrase, everything happens for a reason. Um... Does the Bible actually say that? Uh, from my reading, no. And uh, so we're going to unpack that a little bit. Why do we say that? Why do we, uh, why do we hear that? Is it comforting? Is it distressing? And uh, to me, I think the most important thing is to understand the wide-ranging implications of saying everything happens for a reason. So a lot of times when I hear people use that phrase, they mean um, something happened uh, so that God could teach you something or perhaps they mean something happened for God to punish you. Um, but either way, we're usually talking about things that are troubling. So when, you, when something really good happens, people don't say everything happens for a reason. People say that when something uh, awful happens, usually, you know, if you lost your job or um, if, you, if a loved one gets cancer or... Uh, or things like that. I've heard in those circumstances people will say everything happens for a reason. And that's one of the reasons we need to talk about it is if this is something that we're hearing during times uh, of real distress in our lives, we need to understand what are the implications and is this actually coming from God, from the Bible, or is this something um, that humanity has kind of invented that we need to um, address. And I believe that it uh, is not only not in the Bible, but causes us actually a lot of, of pain and confusion. The Bible actually does not say everything happens for a reason. The Bible starts um, historically, not sort of in order of, you know, you open the page, but historically one of the oldest stories in the Bible is the story of Job. And Job is somebody for whom a lot of bad things happen all in a row, really troubling things, uh, lots of loss. And his friends gather around him and say, essentially, well, everything happens for a reason. God must be trying to teach you something, or God must be trying to punish you, or you must have done something wrong, and that's why all this happened. And Job, who is stated to be a righteous person with no fault, uh, says, no, I, I don't believe that. God uh, did not do this to me to punish me or to teach me anything. Uh, I, am, I, I have done nothing wrong. And so uh, this, this, it's like 40 some odd chapters long of, of these friends having this conversation. And in the end, um, Job is, is sort of shown to be right, that, uh, that these things are not caused by God trying to punish Job or trying to teach Job. And so uh, there are a lot of questions that that story raises and we're gonna engage those when we gather on Wednesday. But I think the most important thing is to understand that this has been a question, why do bad things happen or do things happen for a reason? That's been a question of people since the beginning of religious community. And that's where some of our oldest stories begin. Uh, and so we are not alone in this. Um, but it is more complicated than just everything happens for a reason. So though it doesn't say everything happens for a reason, there is something that is very clear through that story and so many others, and that is that no matter what happens, God is with us. God's love is with us. And our uh, experiences, good or bad, are not reflections on God's love or God's faithfulness to us. And so if we move from a story of everything happens for a reason towards um, a narrative of no matter what happens, we are fully loved by God and we are never alone, I think that that can really change lives. So join us uh, if you can for the conversation and we'll keep it going.